Hey there guys and welcome back to Shopkeep. It's the start of day two and we have a sword to sell. So I'm going to try putting a table. Oh, I wanted to put it there but it won't let me. So I guess I have to put it back here. I'm also going to try... Can I pick up items or are they, are they now stuck? I'm, I'm not really sure how the whole process works. Is picking up something I can do? I might have to look that up at another time. I guess we're leaving the pedestals there and the table there. I had a sword. So we'll get that. And the sword can go on there. And as we've got 106 gold, I guess I might as well do some more building. To be fair. How far away from the door does my building have to be? Put four pedestals in, so now I've got eight pedestals. And if I do some ordering, I can order. Oh, only the one. Leather gloves. And probably some more health potions in all honesty. Maybe a, a recall stone. How much is that? 63, 73, 83. That's all I can afford. Place order. That will arrive in the morning. While we wait, some stuff is already on sale, so I might as well open the doors and get the day started. Ah, a potion. Guess who's marking that up instantly? So what we're going to do is put special potions over here, and health potions are going to go over here now. Special potions and armour over on these pedestals. The delivery has arrived. Just as I was going to check when it would arrive, it arrived. Right, here we go. The gloves need a markup. 150%, they seem to still buy it, so. Recall stone? Oh, I'd put that over there, but I kind of have to put it here. Uh, what I haven't done is mark up the recall stone. There we go. Put it down. What do you want? You, you want to just chuck my sword around the place, do you? I see how it is. Oh, and you're going to do the same with the gloves and the boots, I guess. I'm interpreting that you reckon they're too expensive. If I sell it for slightly less of a profit, it's still enough of a profit, isn't it? In you come. What would you like today? No, you're just going to chuck a health potion around the place. Everyone was perfectly happy to buy this stuff yesterday. What items at the moment? Nothing that I'm selling. So fair enough. Well then. I guess we kind of just have to wait. I mean, while I'm at it, I could... Oh, are you coming in? Okay, I won't go and sh <laughs> rough oh, search through the bins quite yet then. I'm going to enter my establishment. Okay, that bin's empty. He is still there and still dead. Not really sure what to do about him. Sifting through the bins seems to be the way to go to get hold of items. Aha, I can upgrade stuff to get increased price tolerance. So maybe it is they're just being a bit stingy and don't want to pay that much today. Although I've already dropped the uh, price on most of the stuff. 
down to only a 130% markup rather than 150. Put the fire potion down, and we'll put leather boots down. There you go, there's plenty in the store. I mean, I'm, I've even got stuff I can't place because there's too much of it. Uh, I've not got enough pedestals. You seem like a good there you go, bought the leather gloves. Good choice. I might move the boots. Oh, you, you bought the sword. Wonderful. I've been trying to flog that all day. Uh, fire resist potion over there, green potion there. There we go. Organised. So well uh, you bought the health potion, so while I'm at it, I'm going to buy another sword. And a shield. And I can afford another sword. And a load of health potions. Place order. It's quite a large order. That was a lot of money I just spent. But I should be able to keep the shop pretty well stocked throughout the day. We're about to head into the day phase. So... Hello, another customer. What do you want? You're gonna check out leather boots. Good choice, good choice. Sit, stay. Oh, okay, I'm still not allowed to jump. There's an order ready in the back room. Pick that up. Place the sword. I've got a second sword. Uh, place the health potion. I guess the shield would have to go on this table. That's all I've got. A shield, sword, and health potion. And another shield. Got two wooden shields now, but I've only got the one table to place them on. Any bins over here? There's a family all sitting at the table in there. I'm not allowed in though. Yes, eventually I'll learn where all the bins are, I imagine. And know where to go looking for them. No, that's not someone entering my shop. There's one over here that I've already checked today, so it's going to take a bit of time to replenish. I think there was a run round over here. Yeah, there's one. And any more? Probably not, would be my guess. A lot of people. Problem with leaving my shop to go and check out the bins is I do leave the shop rather unattended. <laughs> uh I think that was someone buying something though, because my money has increased. Um, so I've got a health potion over there, okay what I'll do is I'll pick up that, put it there, and put the second health potion next to the other one. There we go! And we wait. I don't want to spend too much on goods because I want to be able to place more um, tables and pedestals tomorrow morning to put more items on. The more variety of items I have, the more likely it is people will buy stuff. Everyone's buying stuff. What have we got? I can put down a health potion. Um, put down a... I resist. Did you pay, pay for that health potion? I'm not sure. Um, I, other than a recoil stone, that's the only thing I can put down here. I guess... I've got quite a few recoil stones now, in all honesty. No one's buying them, but they're, they're still a rather high markup on them. Let's just have a look-see at dropping that down a bit. 
I won't get as much from them, and they weren't that profitable in the first place, but... I'll also try dropping the mark up on the sword a little bit. The boots are already dropped, so... And I've sold one pair today already, so... People will clearly buy those if they really want them. Nothing in the trash. Oh, there is some dirt on the floor. Time to get the broom out. Do some repairing. Sold a fire resistance potion. What have we got? I could, oh, I've only got a sword and shield. I need another table. That's what I really need here. Can't place anything more until I've got a table. It seems to be back to a waiting game again. A lot of this seems to be a waiting game, honestly. I'm not really sure what I'm meant to do in the middle of the day. Other than hope people enter my store. Ah, oh, someone's bought a recall stone, finally. had three to try and sell today. In fact, I probably started off with more than three. I bought one and I definitely found two in a bin. There go the leather boots. But I get the thing I had more than three. I've been trying to shift them all day. Hello, Miss Clara. What would you like? You're going to check out a health potion. You're in luck. We've got plenty of them. Probably worth ordering some more items. Let us place that order for 180. Because the pedestals are starting to run out and all the items I'm holding only go on the table. I require someone to buy that sword if I want to try and sell the shield. It's not a great business model. <laughs> well, actually, maybe it is. The shield will be in much more demand if there is a sword on the loose. So, I guess in that sense, I'll get my order in a second. Just want to. Ha! Ah, he's walked off with the shield with the sword. So now I can up the profit margin. For a start, and then place the shield. Yeah, I was trying to sell two of them as well. Okay, health potions down. Second world growth. You've just chucked a recall stone around the place. How oh, nice. Fast resist and a fire resist. There we go. In fact, I might put down a second fire resist. Basically, the, the wild growth seem to be less popular. Is my experience. Oh, you bought the shield instant. Oh, we'll try and sell another sword now. Um, you know what, actually, I haven't upped the profit margin. This is the first time I've sold this item. They're all profitable, the recall stone is profitable. Yeah, everything else is profitable. It was just that that I hadn't sold before. Bought the shield, the sword, now I can place in the last shield. What is probably worth doing is having a look at my skills. Um, I only have... I'd, I'd like that, so I might save up my skill points. Making them tolerant to higher prices would be very useful, as I could go back up to my 150% markup. Get a little more money out of them. I do actually make quite a bit of money now, up to 564 gold. But. Ah! No! Uh, that's sorry, mate. 
that was not intentional. Well, I don't have anything else to put down there. The table's empty now. That's kind of a good thing, honestly. I will get a second table tomorrow, though, I think. So I can sell more medium items. Or I'll get one of those racks that you can put a sword on. So a shield on the table, sword on a rack. Small items on pedestals. I'd, I'd quite like to get a shelving unit at some point, but I don't know what I need to do for that. It was locked to begin with. Instantly replenish the potion. Thanks for shopping with me. Um, yeah, only one minute left. Might do one quick last minute check of the bins. That one's already empty. They do fill up over the day, throughout the day, so it's worth running around twice in the day to check someone's pulled a recall stone. Good, they're the difficult to shift ones. They don't replenish fully, you could probably only run around once a day and they'd be fully replenished each time, but... Quite like running around anyway, because there's not a lot to do standing in the shop. Ah, oh, both the recoil stones are gone, good. Uh, that means... No jumping. No jumping. No jump. That's what I was aiming for. And this one goes here. There we go, I'm down to just one wild growth potion in my hands. But as we close in 10 seconds, I don't think that's a major issue. And we'll place a new order before tomorrow. Did you just run off with my item again? Right. Got my potion back, place it on the table, and now we're closed for the night. Well... Well, I mean, I'm assuming we're closed for the night. The door is still open, but everyone is running home. There we go. Now we're closed for the night. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I want more, and I'll catch you in the next one.